Hey folks, how's it going? So I got me here the uh, new BMW 400 GT scooter and uh, this is the new offering of a slightly smaller scooter from BMW not, not the 650 but the actual uh, 400 A lot of vibration coming from this thing actually, surprisingly Of course the get up and go is pretty good What's up bro? So I'm here at Sepang just going around the parking lot in circles like an idiot just trying to get a feel for this. Ah, uh, shooting, shooting the uh, 400 GT. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm obviously not geared for riding today, but uh, the foot position is really good, and that's that's important for long distance uh, driving. Oh, look, I think Ivan Kong was here. <laughs> So yeah, for long distance riding, your, your feet position, the variable feet, feet, feet position, that's going to be very, very important for uh, long distance touring. And this, this looks pretty nice, so I can put my feet down here or up there. Very nice. Don't like this vibration though. Of course, you've got uh, different modes, riding modes that you can choose from. I'll show you what the bike looks like from uh, the outside. Let's see if this bike will... Uh, or this scooter rather. Ah, this is nice. Very nice BMW. Nope, you cannot idle with the side stand down. Uh, it uses keyless go right here. So if you want to turn it off, all you have to do is press this and uh, the bike goes off. I've got the key fob in my pocket. And I'll show it to you in a sec. Mm, there it is. So you just keep that in your pocket and uh, you're good to go. You don't need to actually Put a key in so there it is the 400 gt c400 gt that's what they call it quite nice a rather noisy engine actually i have to admit yeah yeah i know the engine does not come from bmw but uh still it's quite noisy which is surprising very surprising i love this nardo gray actually <laughs> this nardo gray color is really nice as you know my own scooter's got a wrap which is pretty close to this but yeah, so for the uh, riding position, you can actually put your foot up all the way up there or just flat foot it down here. A Nardo grey scooter, hmm. Time to consider a paint job maybe for mine. But yeah, long distance. I think this is adjustable, I'm not sure. I don't think you can adjust it on the go. Or maybe you can. No, it doesn't look it. Sorry. So, cubby holes. Oh, you gotta start the bike first. So, when you start it up, that's what happens. Pretty neat. Then this becomes unlocked. And there's quite a lot of uh, storage space under the seat as well. Check that out. So this is something very interesting. Let me just show you what it is. It's called a BMW Flex Case. And what happens is you, you can actually uh, pull this down. Sorry, how does this work? Well, this whole thing goes down actually, so that you can actually fit a helmet here. Ah. Is that it? There we go. So yeah, so the whole thing goes down. You yeah, hit that. Put a helmet in, close the seat, and uh, you can't start the bike when this is down. Found out just now. So when you've taken your helmet out, pull this up, and you're good to go. So yeah, quite a bit of storage space. There we go. Here as well. And I see a 12 volt socket in there. So, yeah. I wonder if this doubles up as a cup holder when you're riding. Might. There you go. Okie dokie. So, there. And, uh, yeah, I think I need to start the bike first. So, it won't start with the side stand down. That's already on. Pull the brake. Sorry, pull the brake. Starts up. You can scroll through the menus here.
4.4 liters per 100 km. Yeah. And of course, there's your modes. Hundred forty nine KM to zero, okay. Alright, not too shabby. But again that's that, that sound of the engine. And this rattle. How's it going? Okay, so just a quick first impression of the BMW C400 GT. Yeah. Not too shabby. It's just really loud, surprisingly loud. Okay folks, I'm gonna get this bike out for a longer test soon. Stay tuned for that, okay? Take care. Stop. And turn it off with this. Done deal. Nice. Okay, talk to you all later. Bye.